I consider myself a follower of the teachings of Jesus. Now, I come to that realization and, and that truth after a lot of study of different religions and spiritual traditions and spiritual practices. Ultimately, I found that the teachings of Jesus are where my spirit rests the best. And I recognize that many people think that the teachings of Jesus are sort of soft because it's all about love and peace and joy. You know, indeed, Jesus is viewed as the good shepherd, the shepherd who knows his sheep, who call after them and care for them. It's very beautiful and pastoral. Jesus painted a picture of God as a father who loves his sons. And the sons weren't really great. The, the youngest one ran out and spent all the money and came back as the prodigal. And the older one, well, he stayed home, but he was sort of stuck on himself and a bit self-righteous and judgmental. And the father loves both of them and provides for each of them to the best of his ability. You know, Jesus also talked about God as the baker woman the woman who needs yeast into the bread and makes this wonderful loaf to feed everyone. You know, those are great images, positive images, nurturing images. But the heart of the teachings of Jesus really have a difficult side to them. Yes, Jesus calls us to love one another, but he also says to love those who hate you, love those who do wrong toward you, he reminds us that it's easy to love those who love us and says, what, what merit is there in that? But love those who hate us. And I, and I think of so many voices we hear in the political spectrum. And I find that people who espouse these views are just very difficult to love. There are people who are climate de deniers and uh, climate change deniers and those who uh, espouse conspiracy theories, people who are homophobic and anti-trans, people who are, are prejudiced in so many ways, they're ra racist and sexist, and you know, there's an organized Nazi movement throughout the world again. How do I love those people? And I find it very, very challenging. And when I think about that, I'm not so sure that I'm a very good follower of the teachings of Jesus. So what I try to do, and, and this sort of helps a little, uh, is to remember that as a follower of the teachings of Jesus, I'm called to view everyone as made in the image and likeness of God, as children of one God, and to remember that there is something of God in every person, even if I can't see it, and, and I sure can't see it sometimes. But to recognize that. And, and so that gives me a start to try to be more compassionate, to try to be more understanding, while recognizing that I'm gonna do everything I can to take different views politically, to announce those views, to work to educate others about false information, and to really try to uh, make society more compassionate and generous but I struggle because there are those people I just find very difficult to love. And so I wanna ask, if, if you're a follower of the teachings of Jesus, how do you love those who are difficult to love? How have you made steps towards that? If you have some thoughts about that, leave them in the comments, share with me some ideas, that'd be really helpful, I'd appreciate it. And in the meantime, I want to wish you a really good day and thanks for your time for listening.